Hey, welcome back. You have the new AirPod Pro 3s and you wanna start working out. How do you set up the heart rate feature? Let's go take these bad boys for a workout and see if the heart rate monitor truly, truly works. My name is Dan and this is my channel. Um, I love making everyday technology easy. I actually spent 19 years at Apple and now I'm in full-time ministry. So did you get the AirPod Pro 3s? And if you have, probably you set them up already, hopefully you have, um, but you do have to turn on the heart rate um, feature found within it. So let me just show you really quickly how you do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to system settings. You wanna make sure you have your AirPods on, in your ear, I should say. Open up your uh, system settings and go ahead and tap on AirPod Pro. And you're gonna go all the way to the bottom and you're gonna make sure that you have the heart rate feature turned on. And literally that is it. Pretty simple. So now that you uh, turned on the heart rate feature, next thing is go work out. Now in this workout, I'm gonna be doing it with my Apple Watch and my AirPods and I'm gonna compare both heart rates. Now Apple does that, say that if you have both devices, it'll dynamically switch between both, but that's not to mention that if you go out for an outdoor walk or maybe for a, a bike ride without your Apple Watch, your AirPods will definitely still track your heart rate and sync that with your iPhone. You have to have your iPhone with you, so make sure for, make sure for that. Now, a little bit of a different video, at least for, for my channel so far. So I'm sitting here in front of my Yisol, uh Roar. Now, I, I will do a, a video on this, so this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Um, but I am going to use my AirPods. I'm going to go ahead and put these in. And um, as I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with my Apple Watch and my AirPod Pro 3s. And on my iPhone, I'm going to set up a workout. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my... Apple Fitness app. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Apple Fitness app and I am going to turn on indoor rowing. Rowing. Can't talk today, not enough coffee apparently. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play here. And I'm gonna get strapped in and I won't bore you with the actual workout because who wants to see me work out? I'm just gonna get strapped in. I'm gonna set it on my Apple Watch. I have my AirPods on. My phone is tracking. I'm gonna turn on my machine here. And I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so I am back. Um, so a couple of things that I uh, determined or I found out. So number one, the workout. I only worked out here for about six minutes, one with the uh, Apple Watch and one without. And to my surprise, they were both very accurate. I'm gonna go ahead and show you here on screen that my heart rate, my AirPods did track my heart rate pretty accurate. As you can see, their average heart rate was 98. It went up all the way up to 136 once I was actually working out in that target range. Um, and this was right on par, right on par with the Apple Watch. So AirPod Pro 3s, if you are interested in going out for a bike ride, a jog, an outdoor walk, and you don't want to take your Apple Watch and you just want to take your AirPod Pro 3s, it is a great option to track your heart rate along with your iPhone, um, especially which you're probably gonna have with you anyways for safety reasons. It's gonna track your steps, it's gonna track your time. Way to go, Apple. Listen, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. And I just wanna make this quick announcement. On this channel, if you have not subscribed, please do so. I try to put out contact, content every week, uh, typically about um, technology, even though lately it's been heavy on the Apple side because it's been Apple month here in the month of September and October. Um, but I'd love to answer your questions. We, oh, we started a, a channel membership where I'm gonna start doing a live video uh, weekly on Saturdays and there we get to interact a little bit more. I get to answer some of your questions. So consider it. Consider being a supporter of the channel. Consider being a member of the channel. You can find that, that information in the description below. But definitely 
subscribe to the channel. That helps me out so much. It gets me great feedback. Let's me keep doing what I'm doing here for you as this community continues to grow. So I can't wait to see you next time. If you have any questions, again, drop them down in the link below, in the captions below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Until next time, peace.